Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Green Scrapper Machine. Today I'm going to do a project that will require no use of the Cricut. Um, I'm using this Christmas combo pack by DCWV. And I got it at Joann's. And um, it has some really great pages in here. And these ones are more of the winter colors with the blues, purples, greens. And then it goes into traditional Christmas pages. Just with browns, purples, reds, greens. Your more traditional colors. And it has the pattern pages as well as see if I can get to one. Um, full size 12 by 12 that you can use for a scrapbook layout. And I just love all of the pages in here. And then these are tags and things. You can use them for journaling spots. Cut them out individually. I'm sure you have all seen this. Just in case. Super cute. There's another 12 by 12. Some birds, holly berries. Another 12 by 12. And then some stripes and polka dots. And then a border. You can cut out all of these individually or just use it as patterned paper. But the one that I'm going to be using today is this piece with one number for um, every day in December up until Christmas, has Christmas Eve and Christmas, and what I decided to do was make an advent calendar out of this, and I cut out each of the individual numbers, and the squares that I'm using, the boxes that I'll be making, um, actually I cut even less than the border. I cut the on the very, very slim edged border all the way around that. So the uh, number ended up being about two by two. So I cut all of those out. Let me just set this aside. I cut all, all of those and I'm um, doing just the last two boxes uh, to show you what I'm what I did, um, there's the Christmas Eve and then the Christmas. So I'm using my Martha Stewart scoreboard for this. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with my camera. It seems very jumpy. Hopefully it's not making you, because it's on my tripod. Um, hopefully it's not making you too dizzy. But I'm, I used basic craft cardstock. And I cut it four by four, and then using my Martha Stewart scoreboard, I score at the one inch mark on all four sides. And this is really thick cardstock, so I have to go over it a couple of times. So again, this is at one inch on a four by four square. And then you can kind of see where the two lines meet on either side. Um, there we go. What I'm going to do is just cut along one of those on all four sides. Just until kind of the cross or where they meet. So then you have four flaps here. And then I'm going to go ahead and crease all four sides. Put a nice corner. And 
And then I flip it over and I'm going to put adhesive just on the little flap part. Go ahead and move my scoreboard really quickly. And again, just putting adhesive on the little flaps. And I don't have score tape. I know some people use that for their boxes. Um, I'm just using my ATG and it seems to work uh, just as nicely. Just got a little on each of the ends. And then you're going to fold it up and then the inside to create your corner. Again, there's your flap. You're just going to take it, fold it on the inside, and adhere it. And last one. And now we have a little 2x2 two two box. This one didn't make it enough adhesive on it. So let me try this one again. There we go. So there's my little box. And I alternated between a maroon, a brighter red, a hunter green, and a little bit of a brighter green. And I cut these out at two by three. Well, three by two, the way that I'm holding it. Um, and I'm going to score that at one inch. That way I have a nice flap to hold on the inside of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my Christmas Eve square to my green. And I didn't add any extra embellishments to this. Um, it's for my son, and he's only two, so I didn't want to add any extra things that he could pull off, essentially. Um, but these squares have a lot of space on them where you can add your own embellishments or even some stickles or extra glitter. Uh, so now we have, let me zoom in a little, oops, sorry, zoom in a little bit here. So now we have the... Christmas Eve adhered down and I'm just going to go ahead and fold over that flap and crease it and then add some ATG only to the flap. And then I'm going to stick it on the inside of my box. I'm putting it on the inside of my box. I'm just going to use my bone folder. Just make sure it's nice and secure in there. And now I have my little box with its flap for the advent calendar. I'm going to make one more for the Christmas box. And then I'm going to show you um, all of the rest of the boxes put together. So again, I have my piece of craft cardstock measuring at 4x4, four four, and I'm going to score all four sides at 1 inch. I'm going to go ahead and turn those. And you can cut before you 
crease like I did for the first box or you can do it this way. Um, either way seems to work equally the same. And then I'm going to cut my four slits. Again, just cutting into where the two lines meet. I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive just to the flaps themselves. Then I'm going to bring the flap to the inside and close it up, creating our corner. I'm going to do that on all four sides. And then I just like to take my bone folder and put it on the inside and just kind of smash down those flaps even more. Then we have our little 2x2 two two square. And for Christmas e or Christmas Day, what I did is I took a piece of red glitter paper just to make Christmas Day even more special than it already is. And again, it measures at 3 by 2 and I'm going to score it at the 1 inch mark. And I can set that scoreboard aside. And take my Merry Christmas and add my adhesive. Put it on the middle and just a little bit of the glitter stands out and then I'm going to fold down my flap and add adhesive to that. Go ahead and put it on the inside of my box. Smash it down in there. Well, not smash it, but. And there is our Merry Christmas box. And then I'll go ahead, go ahead and zoom out here so that I can get the rest of the advent calendar. And here's what the rest of it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and add the last two boxes. And all I'm going to do is use some multi-tombo mono liquid glue for that. And I'm going to add them just right here to my advent calendar. And like I said, this does not require a, the use of the Cricut at all. So um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Green Scrubbing Machine and have a great day.